Bezrat Hashem. Today we're going to try to understand some of the potential that is treasured inside the people who choose to attach themselves to the Creator. The Gemara, the Talmud, is uh, bringing in the end of Masechet Chagiga a story about a unique lizard that is called Salamandra. Now, we're not talking about the animal, the lizard that we familiar today that is called in that name. We're talking about a unique and special animal. And over there, the Gemara is telling us about that unique and wonderful lizard named Salamandra, that that animal is being created so-called by itself, means by the Creator, from the fire in a place that there was fire firing for seven years straight. If there was fire in one spot for seven years and it did not stop, so a lizard named Salamandra will crawl out of that fire, out of that very hot spot. And the sages are explaining over there that the blood of that animal was used for people who wanted to protect themselves from the fire, they would put the blood on their skin and by that their skin would be protected from fire. So they could be safe and not being burnt by the heat of the fire. And that was the power of regular people who would use the blood of that animal to protect themselves. But the power of the real righteous ones that are learning the Torah of Hashem, the real Torah that been given to us by Moses, the ancient and complete and united wisdom of God, the real true one, the people who are attaching themselves to the Torah, they don't need, the Gemara is saying over there, they don't need to use the blood of the Salamandra because all their body is made out of fire. And this is why we have stories in the Bible and also testimonies from people in later generations on many people who were able to enter into fire and not to be burnt. Now, there are many people that are reading the stories and they don't have a solid faith that that is the real nature of the creation. People think to themselves, no, that was Abram. Abram, the giant, the holy pillar of faith, he was a huge man, righteous and different than us. And therefore he was able to get into the fire and not to be burned. But that's a lie. It's a lie because it was not Abram that was able to be saved from the fire. It was Hashem that saved Abram from the fire. And like that Hashem saved Abram from the fire, Hashem saved Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah also from the fire. And like that Hashem saved Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah from the fire, He saved other people in later generations from the fire as well. And fire didn't cut them. It was not that Avraham was immune, stronger than fire, that he wouldn't be burned from the fire because of his greatness. It was the decision of the Creator, of the Maker of this universe, the ones who is above nature, that nature surrounds, surrenders to Him, follow Him, 
do what the Creator command him to do. Nature is not above the Creator. The Creator controls nature. And nature is a slave of the Maker to do His will. And when the Creator decides to change nature, so we become above nature. When He decides to put us above nature, to uplift us above nature, we will have the power to control nature. And that's why Daniel was able, that even though he was thrown into the lion's den, to stand in front of the lions with no fear in his eyes. That's why all the nation of Israel were able to cross in dry land in the middle of the sea when the waves become walls of water who are holding tons and tons of water to the sides without letting one drop fall on their heads. And this is why plagues could come on the enemies of the holy nation of Israel. And this is why we have that trust that in the close and near future to come, the redemption will show the greatness of our Maker. And in Him we trust, and not in our greatness, and not in our power, and not in our wisdom, just in His unconditional love, in His mercy, on His mercy, on His love to His children. And we are thinking to ourselves all the time, am I worth it? Am I righteous enough? Am I pure enough? Maybe there are more things I need to do. Maybe I need to work on my mouth. I need to work on my eyes. I need to work on my mind, on my heart, on my prayer, on my learning. All those things are good. And you should do as much as you can with the power that you find. But you should do everything you do out of love and not out of fear. Because the Creator will protect you, not because you're scared of Him. Fear is not what the Creator desires from you. Love and gratitude and appreciation, friendship and loyalty is the base and the foundation of the relationship of a father and his child. Our Maker is a merciful Father. He loves each and every single one of His creations, not only His children, not only he, human beings, not only one nation out of many others. He reveals His unconditional love and His love is spread and offered to every one of His creations. Like the verse is saying, V'rachamav al kol ma'asav. His love and mercy is on all His creations, on the squirrels, on the doves, on the peacocks, on the dolphins, on the tiny ants, on every one of His creations, on the trees, on the grass, on the wind. And therefore, we need to understand that there is life, eternal life, in every particle of creation that can reveal the greatness of the Creator. Therefore, we must aim our mind to find and to reveal that spark of light in every step of the way and to remember Him in all our journeys and to pray for Him to reveal His greatness to us all and to redeem us all as one in our days with all our loved ones, that there will be no one left behind. Amen. Kenya Hiratsan. Thank you.